All right, everybody. I know you're there already, so get yourself ready. We're about to start. It's just a matter of seconds now. I need to bring myself a glass. Hold on, a second. All right, I know I'm a little bit late. <laughs> I just needed to get something to drink. Hold on. <laughs> Almost ready, ladies and gentlemen. You hear it. I'm pouring something and maybe the microphone will pick it up. Hold on. I'm not sure if that picks it up, uh, but I definitely need something to drink for the live stream. Yes, I know it says start on the screen. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. <clears throat> the godlike sunglasses are ready. Actually, we have to find out what name we should give it now that there's something better than godlike. Okay. Let's go. What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to the next live stream here in War Robots uh, with the f an insanely fast Nodens right here. Um, I've put a Titan Accelerator on it, max level plus 10 kph. The Titan already makes 50, that's 60. And when I was when I saw this number, I was like, wait a minute, that's faster than most of the ro than all of my robots, I think, on my own account. <laughs> I think they're all slower than this. And that's a mad titan, right? With massive power. Uh, so, uh, taking a look at this, it requires a universal slot, apparently. So, uh, unless I overlooked something, I don't think you can get it into a... Um, into a normal assault or defensive slot, right? But you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I could only place it into a universal slot for some reason. Um, but it's really crazy. So let's go and use this. I still have kind of the similar things I've put back into an Auchon. We have a Ravana because people said I'm not running Ravanas as much. Um, uh, because, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I feel like the gameplay of the Ravana is a little bit dull. <laughs> because you run in brainlessly and you kill everything, right? Uh, and my lord, we have already donations popping in. This is insane. Uh, we have a couple of topics that we need to discuss today. First off, what's the name of those now? Those are the godlike sunglasses, okay? You guys love them when I put them on when after I reach godlike. Now, uh, do we rename them? Are they now the limited... No, the, um, the living legend sunglasses or what is going on with this? That's something I'll be reading in the comments. I may not be able to do it right now because I have to perform right now. Uh, but um, let's go and uh, and do this. And my lord, there's more and more donations coming in. And if I've seen that correctly, Ryan, Ryan C, you're a freak, man. You're a crazy. You've already sent donations before the stream was even there. Which, but however, it's the good kind of crazy. It's the good kind of crazy that you are, my friend. So thank you so much. I'll be reading the donations also in a bit, but I, I first want to, you know, do a bit of gameplay before we start here reading stuff. Um, okay, Ares is there. Well, let's get that Titan out real fast. Ow, hey, this guy's reaching me there. Okay, I think this guy's gonna drop his shield now. Yep, he was, but oh, this guy had Shield Breaker. I think the Ares killed the Ares with the Shield Breaker there, and I can't- I, there's more donations coming! Are you guys kidding me right now? How am I supposed to catch up with those? If you send that many, I'm gonna have to somehow catch up with them. Okay. Alright, there is the Auchun flying. Our, the air, uh, the leech got destroyed. Oops. Okay, I'm taking quite some damage, but I want some damage. A little bit of damage is cool, because I need to get into the territory where I get the increased damage output from the overdrive module. Wait a minute, that's not cool, sir. He's got... He, he has the uh, the thing on it. Did you see that? He had um, the, sh the shield breaker. So he was actually being extremely dangerous right there. Okay, I'm gonna get you, man. 
Well, you should have stealthed, man. You should have or used your ability there. My goodness, this is insane. Master Gaming with $1. We have Ryan C with $5 and a couple of $2 before even the stream started. You guys are watching the sexiest man on YouTube right now. You're welcome. What the heck? No, man. I don't I don't believe this. Um, there's a lot of sexy guys out there, uh, I think. I, I mean, I wouldn't know so well, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some super good looking people out there. People that will be way better than I do, but thanks, man. Okay, so here we go. He's gonna land now, and I'm gonna have some fun with you. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So, uh, I think Team Deathmatch would be interesting because there's 10 minutes of time to do a lot with the Titan, right? But let me first have a look at those donations, man. Ryan C, of course. Um, wh whoever made this is a tackle artist. What? What are you speaking about, man? I saw... Isociante Evil One, three dollar. Thank you, sir. Raging idiots with fifty dollars. Say hi. Uh, hi, man. Raging idiots. Thank you so much for your wow, fifty dollar contribution out of nowhere. With and I, this is the first time, by the way, I've seen your name pop up. Um, thank you for joining the stream, dude, and helping out. Ed H, what is the setup for emulator and computer? Uh, and the glasses can be d done done once you hit the living legend. You're right. I need to take them off. I didn't deserve him, but actually I think we can take him from the godlike already because we used to take them from the godlike. So how about we call him the godlike or living legend sunglasses or so, and we we start them at godlikes and we keep them maybe through any upcoming kills too. But that's kind of the same that we already had, right? Let's go and give this guy a little fright. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, yeah, he he got a bit afraid right there. Okay. I'm suppressed now, really? Ah, uh, I, I misclicked. Oops, I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> I wanted to teleport back and I ended up pressing face shift. Whoops. So, uh, well, emu emulator setup. I guess you need a PC that's relatively up to date. And uh, and then one of the many emulators that are out there. Bluestacks, Memu, a a a LD Player, um, and, uh, and Nox. Those are the ones that I know, but there are more. And... Um, yeah, just... Oh, I'm gonna teleport back immediately. Um, uh, there's these four, but those are the four big ones, and... Yeah. But keep in mind, they're currently not running all that great. They're having an issue where cra game crashes. And this could be happening today as well. We could have some crashes coming in today. This time, I'm gonna get the Auchon. Do you know why I'm gonna get the Auchon this time? Because I instantly teleported back. This is why my, my teleport is ready earlier. Wow, he's counter-healing this... Like crazy. Um, since I teleported back immediately, I get to... Uh, I, I regenerate my ability sooner too, right? Because the, the ability regeneration starts at the moment your resistance ends. And your resistance ends on the scorpion when you teleport back. Or when it runs out, obviously, right? And if you teleport back earlier, after two or three shots done, then you will have your ability ready earlier too. And you can counter other people's abilities. Okay, here we have a sweet, uh, oh, that's bad. I'm gonna teleport away. I don't want to eat all his rockets right there. But you see, I'm just whittling them down bit by bit. I'm just taking my time and enjoying... Uh, whoa! Hey, 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 stop the Hydra stuff. I'm just taking all the time I want. We have an owl. Nope, nope, nothing with owl. This is a, uh, come on, um, a nightingale in the air. Let's go for Geronimo. No, Geronimo. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, there he is again. He wants to lock on to us. And only after he locks on to us, he's actually willing to fight us. But you know what? Sorry, buddy. Too late. And I'm gone. Wow, he hit me pretty well with those storms, dude. Ah, new sky. I'm ready for you, man. Just give me nine seconds. Eight. All right, and then I'm gonna be ready for- Hey, wait, 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 I'm the one killing that dude, okay? Don't you do that. He's gonna open that shield instantly, but I'm gonna fire immediately after spawning. And there he goes down before anything even- Before you can even bring up that shield. So yeah, pretty strong, pretty, pretty crazy. The Scorpion is a monster and we're rocking the Overdrive module on it too, which gives us even more firepower. Now that we're winning relatively as safely, I would say for the moment, let me just keep, take a look at the donations. Um, we have Ryan C again. That's already what I read. Vomit AAA -A -A Sausage with $2. Legendary sunglasses and before I forget, moist? What does that mean? Uh, because I brought the, the drink, huh? Um, we have Ryan C again with a five dollar. Pure love in incarnate. I wish they made a motor that could allow me to para sail in the clouds like you. They do have those motors. They're called para motor, and all you've got to do is have that motor, the training. You need the training. Don't do it without training, and uh, and you need the uh, the paraglider above you, the wing. Uh, but that's all quite quite costly. It's not cheap to cheap to get these things. Oh man. Two hit killing him. Look at this, I'm cleaning up from behind, man. I'm the cleanup crew now. Okay, I'm teleporting back because he just used his ability, but uh, 
<laughs> I'm the janitor. I should call myself the janitor now, man. I'm coming in from behind. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> Ryan C. Ryan C. Ryan C. So many. Someone call me a cloud. What hap What does that mean? A cloud. I'm not sure what that means, dude. I'm not gonna fight this guy right now. Uh, because if I do attack him, he's gonna be able to jump uh, onto the point that I was. Okay, from here I can do it. From here behind the cover I can do it. Okay, he almost bit the farm right there. Right, that was uh, a good one. He's trying to get me now, but I still have my resistance up. And after he lands, he's gonna be in trouble. Boom, boom. Ooh, but I lost my legs now. The problem is if they know how to counter the scorpion, and there is a possibility to counter the scorpion. Whoa, did I just take damage for some reason? I did, didn't I? Ow, 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 ow. Don't do this, don't do this. No. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him hard. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna be dying. No, I'm still there. Haha. -ha. The Chinese player, I think it's Chinese symbols in the name, right? I can't, I'm not 100% sure all the time because I can't really read them, but I feel like those were Chinese numbers. Let's do the Ares now and then the Titan. Because that Ares is actually my Titan killer. Um, at least after I've taken a certain amount of damage. I see nothing but, ra but Ryan C and Raging Idiots here. If you gave 20 kills, I give you another 50. Whoa! Raging uh, Idiots, I can't promise to get 20 kills because that is, we only have 14 on this our whole team right now. Uh, but look how much damage this guy is suffering. He's gonna come up, fl start to, uh, to attack me, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna try and get him really good right now. I'm gonna try and get him really good. Okay, I need to take some damage anyhow. Okay, we're being attacked. Okay, and here we go, giving it everything I've got with the build and weapons and everything. Look at this, look how much damage he's taking. That is my Titan killer here, ladies and gentlemen. This thing obliterates Titans so fast. And yeah, I killed myself with this, but you know what? That was worth it, I feel like. The whole battle is taking place to the left, and I'm constantly spawning in to the other side. Uh, but since I'm running a support robot now, let's actually start to support my team, okay? This guy right there. We're bypassing this guy's resistance, but we can also suppress him at the same time. Okay. Now we're making a bit of a difference here on the battlefield, right? This is gonna be crazy. The damage they're gonna suffer now is pretty substantial. But I'm also suffering quite a bit of damage, I must say. They're doing more to me than I would have thought. Must be really well-leveled titans there. Okay, he suppressed me, but his resistance is something I can ignore, but he's not really letting me do that. Oh, you moved to this side now! Okay, okay, he moved all the way around to get to me. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go and have some fun with you, dude. Oh, you're gonna hide now, aren't you? You only wanted to fight me for as long as you had an opening on me. Now that I'm no longer... Oh, those two titans right there. Yeah, they can hit me all the time there. They have a pretty decent spot. If we want to take them out, we have to get close to them. And I'm just not seeing this happen any moment, so any moment now. Okay. I think they can actually hit me. I can't seem to be able to fire above the corner or above the cover without them being in, in, able to hit me either. Healing him. Every time I heal someone, I also get healing. The guy up there. The Titan up there. Come on, Titan. Yep, there we go. We are in the lead. Now they have three Sniper Titans over there. That's a problem, man. That's quite a problem. But we have to be able, we have to get them down. We have to. And one of them is already going down really fast here. Now he's coming back up. He found his prime target. You can tell, man. He wants this thing to go. 
He wants this Nodens to go. Okay, suppressing him. And then finishing him. Nice. So let's let's clean up clean up these guys. I need to get some more health. Okay. He's got a physical shield that he can block all the damage with. And the crazy thing is we can go right through. Right through the resistance on this guy. Okay. We're strategically moving forward here now. And you see the enemy is is suffering. They're 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 hurting. Look, this guy's almost done now. We are being attacked from behind and the match is over. What a tough battle. These titans on the enemy side were really well leveled, man. And I wonder if maybe if I had gone around them I could have taken them out from behind. Um but maybe they would have killed me because those were three titans or so, right? So maybe it was good to stick with my team, help them out. And uh, unfortunately though, it was only 13 kills that we were able to make. Cassius and Noah Fleming with a five pound, I think, is that. Hi Money, watch your videos all the time and is Cryo Rhyme Phantom a good setup? Oh uh, yes, it definitely is a good setup because it unleashes its massive firepower very quickly. However, um, you need to retreat back and teleport back afterwards when you're empty because then when you're empty you don't you have a very low amount of damage output you only have a lot of firepower in those cryos and uh, rhymes for as long as they're loaded right as soon as they are empty the firepower is really low so you should teleport back with your phantom when you emptied your clip on the enemy this is I guess the way to play it pro properly I would say right I'm not playing the Phantom that much these days, but if I was, that was the way I would play it if I had Cryos and Rhymes on it. Um, my favorites would probably be uh, Scourge and Spark, though, because there's there's so much more damage output in them, and uh, and you can literally hit any fast-moving target extremely efficiency efficiently. Yeah. So, Ryan C again with the $5. I am, what does he say? I am the name, the scorpion. I just won after you uh, then sell it for silver. What? I'm going to name the scorpion. I just won after you and then I'm going to sell it for silver. You got that many uh, scorpions, man? Okay, let's fly up with a legendary pilot, which means that even his stealth jump doesn't do him any good. And then get back into cover. And this is what I feel like is so unfair. The Spectre is really not that strong anymore. It is so slow. The Spectre is so slow. It's unbelievable how slow it has become. And then it has, it's like a two hit kill from a shotgun setup. We've seen it before. And then you have a stealth that barely lasts until you're landing. And, and then now the Ochons even counter your stealth. That is a really big problem in my opinion. So we're flying up right here. Taking on that behemoth. Uh, because he's probably wanting to do a lot of damage to my team. And, uh, yep. We prevented that. 5 to 1 already. Holy moly. Another Spectre is jumping up. I like the Spectre, man. It's still one of my... Oh, he had Quantum Radar. That was a good good attempt and a good hit. But you fired a little bit too early, my friend. You, ha you should have waited a tiny bit longer. And then you would have caught him uh, better. Okay, let's catch that Aochun. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go for him first and then catch the Aochun. Uh-oh, Leech Robot is coming and Aochun is coming. Ooh, boy. Yep, we're in safety for the moment. I made, I think I made the Leech use, lose his Leech ability already, right? So you should have it down. Oh, yep, wow. That was a nicely timed Vortex Strike there. So the guy behind us with his Vortex Spectre has proven his skill. He's proven that he knows the timing perfectly to when he needs to fly and, uh, and when he needs to let those rockets fly up over. Okay, I'm empty already on my uh, weapon, but the flamethrower is doing the job. God! Oh, hey, whoa, 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 hello! Thank you guys for your support. That was good. I got a bit of support there. Uh-ohs. Uh-ohs. Oh, he's got resistance up. He's got his resistance up. Some poor guy out there in the distance is currently getting destroyed because the Ares is firing everything he's got into that resistance and into that throwback leech damage. Speaking of the leech, 
there is this new legendary pilot for the leech now uh, that reduces uh, no I lost my lock on that reduces the um, the resistance to 70% instead of 90% but the throwback damage you heal instead so it's a very interesting but also weird thing I'm not sure if I would actually want that legendary pilot because that 90% resistance is what uh, what makes the leech what he is, right? And if you were to um, to take uh, the resistance away, even if he heals passively, with the resistance you're just having a bit problem. Uh, without that resistance, you're having a problem. And if in, in case you guys feel like, wait a minute, Manny, is it is it? Am I crazy, or are you focusing out every Aochon you can find and every Spectre? Then, no, you're not crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I do indeed focus out every stealth robot I can because of the fact that the legendary pilot here allows me to do this. Why did he... Oh, I'm face shifting. I'm not gonna be hit by that vortex hit. Face shifting through that to stay here. Starting to fly. Now it is resistance is gone. And there comes the damage. Finishing him too. If possible. Yep, that is hit for him. And landing, hopefully, behind cover. That's at least what I try to do. Ooh. I can fire over this, but um, I'm doing double damage, by the way, right? Right now, we're doing double damage with the uh, overdrive unit. And he can't hit me with his uh, cataclysm, which is awesome. And who's that Vortex Spectre guy? I want to find him. Who's this guy? I think he just got taken down, yeah, by the Titan, but that was a very good Vortex Spectre run he did. Okay, he's gonna shield. I'm gonna fire empty my weapon on him here. Through the wall. Then face shift, reload, and then have some fun with the Titan here. I don't need to fly for as long as he's not firing at me, because the flight is my life insurance, right? The flight ability is not 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 nothing you use on the Outshone just to deal a little bit more damage. The flight ability is what saves your butt when you're really in trouble, right? So I often see people using their flight ability just to get faster from point A to point B, or just to do that tiny bit of extra more damage because of the uh, added. Here, look how they all fire at him. I'm only firing in the ground, reloading my weapons. Stop firing. Oh, he's not firing. Good, good. He's he's not firing. Did you see that? He was he knew not to fire at him. Probably because he was the one getting leeched. Um, but it's uh, it's good when you have teammates in your team, in team deathmatch most of all, that know not to fire at a leeching leech. That is a very good thing. Okay, I wish he would have stealth jumped now, but unfortunately he's not gonna do that. Yeah, he's not gonna stealth jump just yet. He's going to st stealth jump on me now. But I can do this against it. And face shift right through and then get killed anyways. Alright, let's give him that kill. Why not? He did a good job. He hid, he hit and he didn't use the stealth before. I, I only used one robot so far and I doubt I'll be able to use another one here because I'm not getting in range to fire. We have a Roe Casilla with five Canadian dollars. Bro, I stopped playing almost a year and I came back yesterday. I find everyone OP and everything to the point of my max damage only 500 to 900k. And then 1 to 1.5 million. Um, of course, War Robots is a very fast moving game. If you are gone for a year and a half, you have missed so many meta steps in between. And let's not forget that usually... Um, in order to keep people interested in new content, Pixonic is making the new content always a little bit more interesting and better, right? I guess this is just how mobile games work. The new stuff must be a little bit better than the previous one. Why else would anybody go for it and buy that or want that, right? And the thing is, though, over the time, there's a certain thing we call power creep in multiplayer games. This is called power creep. When the, the power of things creeps slowly upwards, right? Sometimes it creeps fast upwards. If you remember Dashbots, right? That was a massive increase in power from the Lancelots that ruled the battlefield before. And then there was the Spectres, a massive increase after, um, after the Dashbots. Uh, after the Dashbots. So sometimes the power creep is actually quite a big steep, and sometimes it's 
a little bit gradually. Um, and but if you have gone like for a half, one and a half years, there's a chance you just you know missed a lot of those power creep, <laughs> power steps, and basically you you end you end up finding yourself quite underpowered. Uh, but usually, um, this I, I'm not sure how. Um, usually, if there is a shortcut also built in for for you know newcomers or for backcomers, for people who come back from a long time, usually uh, the, the no mobile games, not just Pixonic, but mo many of those mobile game companies do some kind of shortcut system for those who come back into the game after a while, for them to easier come back into the meta. They may not get the number one stuff necessarily, but they get like second grade stuff that will still allow them to part uh, to to compete in in a way, right? And um, yeah, so just gotta use those shortcuts, I guess, uh, to come back in. But yeah, I, I recognize the uh, the problem you're you're speaking about, um, the fact that co next content is usually stronger than previous ones, is um, you know it always keeps you uh, keeps you upgrading, right? And this is the thing. You always are st are steadily keeping in a state where you're never finished. You can never be finished. You must always upgrade uh, and stay up to date, basically. And if you play all the time, then that should probably not be that big of a deal for you. But if you play uh, less or you have long breaks between the play sessions, you might that might be difficult. Boom! Yeah, he spawned that thing to counter me, and now he realizes that. Wait, I'm in it. Ah! Okay, see, and this is another problem that I me mention here. The Ravana that I'm right now playing is a perfect example of this power creep. Um, I, all, all I have to do is press a button, and I say so he suppressed me again. All I do is press a button, and my suppression is gone. My lockdown is gone. I'm no longer locked. I'm no longer suppressed. Just because I press a button and become invincible and faster at the same time. Is that really supposed to happen? In my opinion, not. If you ask me, I shouldn't be able to stand inside the enemy team for three minutes, obliterate the living heck out of these guys, and uh, and still am alive and dominating everything. That shouldn't be possible. I'm not playing against noobs here, okay? I'm playing Champions League level, uh, but they just can't kill me fast enough. With the overdrive, the damage I do is just really high. Really? Uh, uh, right? And, and now they finally got me because I was literally in a four-on-one there. Uh, this was a prime example, right? Why... Pick, this is a question for Pixonic, for example. Why does the Ravana remove lockdown and suppression every time he uses his ability? Why is the Ravana able to use and utilize phase shift? Should it really be able to do that? Just a few questions to throw in because let's face it, phase shift on the R Ravana means even more time. And you can basically just stall time for- what the heck? Wow, that was some heck of a teleport right there. And um, yeah, in my opinion, the, the Ravana shouldn't be able to use phase shift because he already has phase shift in his abilities. He should not be able to remove lockdown and suppression when using abilities. I know some of you guys out there will disagree because you may have three of your Ravanas in your hangar and you don't want them weaker. But truth be told, just because I say that doesn't mean it comes like this. Many times already I have had the proof, a situation where I say, hey, this and that, I wish that would be a bit different. And guess what? It never changed, right? Um, so it's not like what I say goes in any way. Um, but um, I know that people will disagree on me uh, with me on, the, on those, but I also know there is a lot of you guys out there who will probably agree that the Ravana shouldn't be able to have phase shift as an example, right? It's just uh, in terms of balancing it better. He's gonna teleport back soon, and when he does... No, he doesn't teleport back. That was interesting. Okay, I need to take some more damage anyways to get into the category of... Um, of uh, overdrive module. Another example would be um, uh, Titan modules, right? Um, I know that Titans are massive, huge robots, very strong. Why is he not fighting me? He's literally ignoring me. No, okay, now he's fighting me. All right. Um, he was reloading, I think. Uh, Titan modules are increasing the firepower of your Titan by 27% per module. I just find this is too much. I think it should be 10%. Tops. And in turn, they should be cheaper, right? 
make it lower, but make him make him cheaper in return. So that there are only 10 upgrade stages and uh, you get to 10% or so. Instead of 25 upgrades to 27%. Um, just a few words, right? This is, this, this, I mean, now I've answered this comment <laughs> very, very extensively. But I felt like speaking about it because it is a topic that is with us all the time. Um, you know, increase of power uh, is something that matters in games like these. And therefore, I feel like it is worth talking about it. It does make sense uh, to, te to thematize, te them te thematisieren in German. The, what's the word in English? Tem the I don't know. Does that word even exist in, uh, in, in English? Not every German word necessarily exists in English, too. So I guess I have to accept that. Hold on. Um, let's go for him with the overdrive module. The damage output is just insane. And I'm not even using the Titan yet. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I should teleport back. Now the, now the moment is over, I can no longer teleport back. Um, but I have another phase shift ready in, in case I need it. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wasn't that a godlike? It was. Oh! Hey there. Okay, uh, I can shoot into this guy's flank. He notices the shots in his back. That's insane. He is so aware of his surroundings, he actually knows when a shot comes from behind. That's interesting, dude. I thought he's so in the thick of the action right now that he wouldn't recognize uh, that those few shots from behind right now. Uh, but he did. He instantly turned around and noticed that. That is impressive, sir. Okay, we're still on the godlike, although we lost the godlike streak now because we haven't killed anything. I feel like it still counts towards the godlike streak if we can make any further kills. So I'm a I'm I'm eyeballing this um, this Ao Ming over there. That's my goal. I'm eyeballing him. I want this dude. Hopefully they fix the teleport through walls because he's pushing his back against the wall. Yeah. Okay. They did. Um, because uh, the first day when the re when the scorpion was released, I figured out you could actually teleport through the wall and fall through the wall if you teleport behind someone who's having his back against the wall. Because that will make you teleport behind him. <laughs> and there is no behind him because the wall is behind him. So you teleport behind the wall. <laughs> that was crazy. He's walking backwards further and further. Why? You see, once he wants to catch me. By the way, right now we're firing with four storms and two gusts, right? We're having s six weapons out because of the overdrive module doing almost double damage when you have all three running with the boosters and everything. Speaking of which, I forget, forgot to activate the boosters. And I also forgot to, take, uh, to check the recent donations because now I've talked for so long. So, Ro uh, Roe Kazila, I hope I answered your question and... Uh, you know, went into the detail about it ex uh, well enough. Mr. Krabs for 100 rubles. Uh, I don't know where you will use these rubles, but uh, what is the best setup for Falcons? Awesome content, keep going. Thank you, sir. Um, the best setup for Falcon, in my opinion, is the, the cheapest one, is a T-Falcon, traditionalist with a pilot skill, that gets you uh, plus 50% HP and removes the other two weapons. And therefore, this is the cheapest available setup in the game, you only need one robot, one pilot skill, and one weapon to make it work. One glory, one falcon, one pilot skill with traditionalist, and you're set for a lot of fun. Leveling that tight at uh, that falcon obviously uh, is worth it because the more HP you have, the more healing you benefit when you use the healing module, right? The more healing you'll get, the more you level it, you know, the more you, the more benefit you'll have from the resistance that the Falcon has. So there's a lot of reasons to level that thing. Uh, but the crazy thing is you only need two weapons to make this work. And that's the crazy thing about this, okay? So he's probably wondering why in the world he's not capturing the beacon. The answer is, is because I'm right here with you, sir. Now he realizes, wait a minute, you're here the whole time? That's why I couldn't get the freaking beacon. Yep, that's right, sir. And I'm gonna die now, it seems. Yeah, wow, they're coming with so many things. Dude, they're they're rushing our position right there. Let's take another falcon, uh, a scorpion, 
and jump right onto that position to make sure they're not gonna get that. This guy just teleported back, which means we can kill him super quickly now with a storm version of this. Boom, boom, boom. So, are we finally get that beacon now? Come on, do some more damage. I need it for the overdrive. Thank you, sir. That is very kind of you. Now we can corner shoot with double damage. If I could make him use his leech ability, that would be amazing. But he seems quite quite happy with the way the battle goes for him right now. Because he thought he did all that damage. When really, I wanted him to do that damage to me. Let's go for the Ravana there. Boom, boom, boom. With the overdrive module doing tremendous damage to him. Face shift. Oh, his last stand was still ticking, so the last stand outweighted my face shift. That was the problem. Okay, let's use that Ares. I love this Ares, man. This is one of my favorite robots also here in the game. Aside from the Cerberus with Vortex. Well, he's leeching. No, he's no longer leeching, I think. Yeah, he was He was leeching, and then he's done leeching now. Wait, no, wait a minute. He was leeching with the, with the legendary pilot. He's also leeching. Let's wait for it. The color of the leeching is different, and that's why I thought he wasn't leeching. Okay, I have a Ravana behind me. Are you- he's really hunting me down, isn't he? He's hunting me down so much. Yep, this guy is hunting the living heck out of me, dude. You know what? Let's turn this around, my friend. 39, you're done for the rest of the match now. Yep, you're officially done now. I'm gonna hunt you until this match is over. Unfortunately though, um, again, the same thing. His last, his face shift was longer than the thing. Okay. Okay, let's hunt you down, Sam. And he's retreating all the way back into his base where he knows I can't really do much anymore. But don't worry, Sam, I know you're gonna get me here. I'm not, there isn't much I can do about your Titan. That Titan seems well leveled. Um, but what I can do is just annoy you a little bit, buy myself some time, and then later have some fun with my Titan at you. It's very evident that you have been hunting me down for the rest of the match, so let's just do you the favor. Oh, it's very kind of you, by the way, that you're letting me regenerate all those ability charges. Right? Now, I think somebody spawned behind me. Man, Sam, you should have got me a long time ago. You've, I'm doing a lot of damage to you. Way more than I should be doing. <laughs> okay. So, um, where are we going to jump into? What are we going to use? I think I'm starting with the Aochun first before I use the Titan. Uh, because we need to capture this beacon. If possible. We cannot lose this beacon too. If we lose this beacon too, we were in trouble. Okay, reloading the weapons. Okay, let's go for these guys here. I need to take some damage anyways to get into the overdrive module. He knows I'm an Aochun. So he knows I'm gonna be able to do a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, I can't ha I can't kill Sam right now because he's just flying way too far away. He knows that if he comes a little bit too close to me, then I'll be able to do a lot of damage to him. Okay, thanks for the hit. Now we're doing increased overdrive damage. Flying backwards in safety. Okay. However, it doesn't seem to be that well stat mu that good of a safety because the enemy team is very strong here. But as long as this Titan doesn't move forward, I can actually go here a little bit fur further. We are losing in terms of beacon control big time. He actually stopped me and got me with the thing. Okay, he's losing some health now. And there you go. Sam, I wouldn't have focused you like this if you hadn't done the same thing to me before. So, um, yeah. We still have our Titan. Oh, hello. Hello. 
suppressing this titan right there so he does less damage healing up our leech friend there switching over for him for a second oh i am in a, in a oh that is a very bad spot to be in right now this is a very bad spot i find myself in a three a triple battle with titans now okay this is problematic they have all five beacons this enemy team is a million a quadrillion times stronger than our team that's insane wow i'm grilling his titan really fast but man this team rocked the heck enemy team you were just i draw my hat before you because you were a million times stronger than my team man <laughs> awesome um what do you think are good robots to fight the ravana with the Ravana, the Ravana, and the Ravana. Unfortunately, there isn't really a really good robot to fight the Ravana with. There, there just is none. Because he counters every ability. Every single one of them he counters. Uh, because, oh, it's a platoon. This is why. Okay. I noticed Siberian Wolf f focusing me so hard, and I didn't know why. Because I thought that's a different clan tag. And I didn't understand why Siberian Wolf was focusing me also that much with his Titan. Now I know why. Okay, uh, that explains how I lost five, six robots that fast, which normally I never run out of robots in a battle. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, there is not really a way to counter the Ravana. Doesn't really work because he outweigh with with how long he can stay invincible and how f sorry fast he is. He counters our chuns and their abilities. He counters leeches and their abilities. He counters even blitz robots and their abilities. I found that the best robot to fight a Ravana is a legendary pilot on the Blitz robot. Having having uh, four times um, Atomizer, uh, sorry, Quarker four times or four times Gust maybe, or four times Spark, something like this on the Blitz, well leveled, and then having a legendary pilot with the pilot skill Death Survivor, where you get the ability and the 90% resistance twice, because this is something that the... Uh, that the enemy can't really do something about the Ravana, because he might be able to survive quite a bunch of your um, of your ability charges, uh, of your first ability charge. But then the problem comes in: you get a second ability shortly afterwards when he when you drop to 50%, right? And that second ability again with a break-in shots, again with maximum resistance, that's a problem for uh, for the enemy. That's a phant phantom sitting up here. What the heck? He didn't even die in front of me. Where did he go? But see, I'm playing the Ravana right now to show you. I just ran through so many enemies, and any other robot would have already lost so much health. Not the Ravana, though, because you can just invincible yourself through all of that. I, I bet this is also a Ravana right there. He's come so far. No, it's a leech. Okay, well, I lost the bet then, but... Okay, there's a, uh... Ah, we can't catch him. He's too far away. Look, he stays on his spawn the whole time. But the leech robot seems to be coming down. No, also the leech robot is not walking down. They're all staying in their spawn. Look at this. That's crazy. None of these guys is coming off their spawn. They're all playing super safe right there uh, without coming fr away from their spawn there. Let's finish this guy. Oh, he's already finished. Did he not already have the leech ability? No, he's leeching now. See, here's a prime example, okay? He leeches, he leeches, he leeches. And even though I have already used my ability before, now his leech ability is gone. I'm gonna double hit kill him down to last stand, do a phase shift even. I'm blocking him, he can't move away now. And boom, afterwards, it's death time. And this is, even though I just attacked the enemy base and I've already used a lot of my abilities, right? It's just, it's just so easy. This robot is so easy to play with and so easy to be good with. And this is something I find a bit unfortunate. I wish it would require more skill and it would be not that easy and ridiculously powerful, this thing. I'm h hiding here behind the wall. I'm probably really being annoying to this team, like, how many things have they thrown at us now, and how often have I just repelled whatever they've put out? 
Okay, see, here's another Auchun. Next example, right? He's having his ability running. I'm pushing him back. His ability is gone. He's even losing all the firepower in his weapon. Now he's reloading. And guess what happens after the phase shift? That's right. He dies. Boom. Easy as lemon. Easy as squeezing lemons. The, the, the easy, easy, no, wait, what's the wording? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm running out of abilities eventually because after nine or ten flying out chuns, it, there is going to be an end, but um, yeah, I don't <laughs> It's, it's just brutal what this thing can do. Titan isn't ready. Let's use the Scorpion. And have a look at those donations. We have Pavri Sanlu with 40 Indian rupees. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody said what do you do with these rupees. Wait, I missed a couple of donations. Matt, Matt, thanks for a great video, Manny. Matt, Matt, thank you so much, dude. That's 24 minutes ago. Sorry for not seeing it earlier. And Mr. Craps, he said, I don't know what you would do with those rubles. The rubles will be uh, changed and translated into euros for me, so don't worry about it, right? If you say in rubles, in the end, I'm not getting rubles, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, Kane Walker with two dollars. I love your videos, uh, but I want to say again, Canadian dollars 20. Matt, Matt, thank you, sir, so much. And, a pre and, so and again, sorry for the late response. What do we have here? Okay, I wonder if he have already had his ability used. I guess so, yep, because now he's flying, see? And man, is he mad now. You can tell, he is so mad. He just lost his entire robot and his last stand to absolutely nothing. And now all I have to do is get into 350 meters range, which I may or I'm not, probably not gonna be able to do. Uh, wait a minute, unless, unless I can trick them a little bit, like this. No! No! <laughs> oh man, sorry dude, that just had to be... I couldn't reach him. What I could reach though, was the Titan. So I just jump on the Titan and kill him. Whatever, <laughs> I don't care. Alright, corner shooting him because he's coming for me. Or maybe not for me, but he was coming anyways. Uh oh, I'm being attacked from behind now. There's another Titan it seems. <laughs> okay, there's... Wow, there is a lot of titans. Holy crap, that is too many titans. Okay. Alright, you know what? What we need? What we need is the titan killer. That's right. Here he is. The titan killer. Alright, and in order to do the full damage, I need them to drop me down to last... Uh, to below the level here. Which they just did, and now I can have some fun with him. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. That was an entire Ao Ming right there. Now he's coming around the corner. I'm going to corner shoot him a little bit. If I'm lucky, he's going to get locked even. And uh, I'm having overdrive running, so boom. Next Titan bites the dust. And here we go with overdrive damage running, doing eight weapons at the same time. Now he realizes, wait a minute, I'm taking way too much damage. And the answer is, yes, you do, sir. And fire. Oh, no. I didn't land right. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. Oh, I can I please stop bouncing all over the place? Okay, I took down three titans. Okay, that was good enough. Three titans. And this is the other titan killer here, by the way. Uh, the other Ao Ming killer. The, uh... Um... The Ao Chun, obviously, right? And they have another Ao Ming. So they have five Ao Mings. Six players, and they have five Ao Mings. Imagine this, ladies and gentlemen, how crazy this is. Five Ao Mings in a team of six players. Speaking about power creep, dude. Where are, where are all you kids gone? Where have all the kids gone? <laughs> the kids were here. Give me that overdrive damage, please. Uh, thank you. Now I'm rocking over... No, I healed past the overdrive. Damn it. Didn't mean to do this. You know what's cool? We don't yet have a single crash. Oh, he's coming. He's got 300 meters range. But I don't need my, my face shift for this. 
And he doesn't even reach me. And in the meantime, I can have some fun with that Titan. But I need to take more damage here. Please, could you help me with that, sir? Yep, they are helping me. They are being very generous and helpful here again. Maybe I can take down two Auchuns now. Okay, taking out the first one. And the second one, who is currently uh, face shifting. And then going for the Titan and never losing a single lock-on. Did you see that, guys? whoop -a! That's how you whoop him like in the Manny Town, dude. Never lost a single lock-on. I was able to lock on through that whole time and just deal damage. Oh! I even kept my lock-on when I turned around like this. Is this another play? Yeah, this is another enemy! What the heck? How many? How many people can you have attacking your- uh, be, be attacking you? Probably gonna die now, am I? Holy moly, that was two guys who somehow snuck behind me. I don't know how they made this happen, but they did. They got me good from behind there. I'm wasting all his firepower there. He's currently trying to shoot me. Why am I so immensely slow? Okay, he's taken down now. Okay. Four, si four calamities firing at him at the same time. Maybe I can fly- Oh no, you know what? He's got quantum radar there. I have to move away from the quantum radar. And now I would have killed him! Despite shield, despite quantum radar, now I would have gotten him because I was- No way. What? Uh-uh. Is that real? Adam? Adam in the stream chat. Just send a 500 pound. Uh, the for- uh, a 500 pound uh, uh, super chat message or donation. I remember getting my first Inquisitor and thinking, this is it. I don't need any more bots. I will rule the battlefield. How wrong I was. Uh, hashtag Ares Liege Ravana Titan. Yeah, pretty much, right? And the Blitz with the legendary pilot. Uh, yeah, pretty much. This is, this is crazy. And Scorpion now, too. Adam. Uh, I'm not sure if there is no top donation thing, but if there was, you would be in there right now. Um, thank you so much, Adam. This is unbelievable. 500 pounds, and I think the pound is even much stronger than the euro and the dollar is. That is crazy, man. Uh, thank you. S wow, I don't know what to say. How can I, how can, what can I say to make, to make up for this much support right there? Adam, you're, you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. And also... I don't think I have seen you that many times previously, so you're probably even arrived. Maybe you haven't been, you know, watching tons of live streams yet, so maybe if this is one of your first or maybe one of the few live streams you've seen you as you spent this much in there. I don't know. I'm just, uh, just thinking loud right now, but man, thank you so much. Jesus, this is, cr this is, um, wow. <laughs> I'm in the lack of words. It happens rarely that I'm, <laughs> that I'm in a lacking words because I'm a chatterbox, but this oh man that was really crazy thank you so much let's go and attack the the lump here Na uh, probably it's german and his name is lump which is like a uh how do you say this in english a lump lump um there is a word for it uh vagabond vagabund is that not kind of the thing oh man i'm uh, like I'm still practicing English and I'm trying to get as best as good as I, as I can about it, but I still have a lot to learn clearly as uh, as I see here. Yeah, he's hit, hit me with his break in shots. And he's got 90% resistance. I'm trying to wait out the resistance that he's got, but they th they tripled me right here. They triple teamed me there. That was crazy. That was a very bad attack run because they triple teamed me so hard. Let's go for him again. I think he still has no ability to use. What? He knew! He knew that! And now he has the next ability ready. Wow. Nuclear Inferno, you are insane, dude. The level of, of awareness of the map you have is unrivaled. He notices every little thing. 
It's insane. Imagine he just noticed that I'm about to jump. He face shifted before I did so, knowing I would jump on him. And he did another ability run. I'm getting him down to last 10, so that was kind of a success still. But that was crazy, man. I a nuclear Inferno, great job, sir. That was really, really good. Great play. Oh, I'm dropping in with the wrong butt now. Okay, I'm being absolutely out outnumbered here right now in my own base. They outnumber me so hard. It's like I spawned there and I was between three enemies in my spawn. So, uh, yeah. That's crazy. I should have probably sticked more to my team because I have been trying to battle them in this three-on-one condition the whole time. And every time I jumped on, uh, on him, he, he was having massive support. Like, it wasn't just him, it was this immense amount of support he had that also got me down so hard, right? So, let's see if we can get this guy as he drops his, his resistance. Again, I mean, are you guys playing together? I mean, seriously, I feel like you guys are in one squad. This is not normal. The level of, of focus again. I'm lit this time I am with my team actually. I am actually with my team right here. The level of focus these guys are giving me is completely nuts. Do you notice that? I mean, if you guys are battle if, if you guys are three on oneing me on purpose, then I must take back some of the praise I've given you guys because then it really takes a little bit of your skill away. You guys don't need to three on one me just to, you know, get into the video or just to have a bit of a uh, a bit of a cool moment here. Do a normal battle, give me the same chance that any other player in this match you has. Don't focus me out with three of your clan mates or two, if you guys are in a quad, squad, right? I'm not sure if that is the case. I could be wrong and they could not, could be not in a squad, I don't know. But um, right now it felt like it. So nine to six. Maybe I can surprise this, this guy here a little bit. Nope, I cannot surprise him at all. Okay, we have him coming back. I'm going to retreat now. I'm going to retreat into my team and try and have some some backup there, because um, I I'm no longer I'm not interested in battling these three or four four and one conditions. Boom! I tripled you down, three hit kill, and you're down to last stand already. Boom! This time you didn't do so well, but last your your previous map awareness was impressive. Nuclear Inferno, really, I've got to say that was a very good job you did there. Knowing and realizing what I was about to do, I tried to bring down uh, this this guy here a little bit, but I'm not sure if I can make it happen. Oh, I can't get out of the f I can't get out of firepower. It's like no matter where I go, they're always there. Thankfully, I have the Hades shield to to help behind. Okay, I was able to corner shoot him. Um, 12 to 10. It's an intense match. Really great match right here. Thanks for all the tips I, you give us every time. Uh, Matt, Matt, again with 20 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much, man. And Raging Idiots again. Another 25 coming later. Stay tuned. My lord, Raging Idiots, you're also really a a awesome, man. And I'm hoping... I, think it's, I feel like I'm insulting you when I say your name. I hope you... <laughs> I hope that's not the case, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, they're behind cover, actually, there. Um, ever since I stick a little bit more to my team, you notice right now, I'm no longer running in and in, into all four reds, right? This is something you should never really do. You can do it on a account like the Battle Rack account, it's fully next. You do have a chance to run in, even if you are between many enemies, which you see me often try and do, just to increase the action factor on the streams. But let's be honest, it's not a good idea, right? It's never really a good idea to run in and battle four or five people on your own. Nicely timed. Who was this? That was a very well-timed uh, uh, strike there with your Titan, buddy. 
very well timed his attack where he uh, uses the uh, the short range explosion thing. Nuclear Inferno is coming back. Okay, I'm trying again to go back into my team because I feel like I'm, I'm better off just uh, trying to defend with my team together here. Uh, I do have a lot of robots still left, but why why sacrifice them for nothing, right? Look, with the overdrive I can do a tremendous amount of damage to this player from the Atom Clan and annoy him with a shotgun here. Uh, but also, Nuclear Inferno played the strong robot, you remember? The Blitz robot. With double ability, I think, with a Death Survivor skill, with a legendary pilot. I said you- I told you before, this is an incredibly powerful setup. Oh, I cannot corner shoot against, um, an Aochun with flames. You cannot corner shoot against a flamethrower Aochun. Where is he going? Okay, we have something behind us here. Trying to hide here around the corner real quick. Face shifting through his uh, ability. And then trying to get him as he comes out. Nice. Okay, and we still have our Titan. I think it's time to switch into the Titan. So we can support our team some more. This guy up there, he requires some health. These guys need some suppression. Alright, so let's come in and use the Titan. Healing up this dude. Uh, Nuclear Inferno here has his leech right now. And as you can see, he immediately face shifts knowing that the damage I do here is fatal for him. This is fatal damage because it, it, it bypasses his resistance and his ability. Let's get this Titan out of the way and then him. Your, his leech ability unfortunately is not going to help him here. See that? That's the problem. These Titan weapons, when they're well leveled, they simply bypass resistance. Now, of course, I lock, I suppress him, right? And I get myself some more resistance here too. Uh, he's now really mad because I've taken like all five of his robots out, I'm pretty sure. And this is why you sacrificed your robot. Next time, Nuclear Inferno, don't make it personal if possible, right? Stay stay just, um, because basically you just lost your most important thing for your team. That Titan was the most important thing you have in this matchup. And you just threw it away because you were uh, kind of, uh, you know, mad at me, at, at that, at that, oh, uh, that Nodens here. And I hope I'm not insulting you by uh, trying to give a few tips, okay? I'm not trying to insult you or anything, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, just trying to help out a little bit. Um, you did an excellent job, and I think I've also been able to, um, to really praise you for that. Okay. Problem is, with these weapons, you have to, uh, to lose your lock on if you want to help somebody, right? If you want to help your teammates and get your resistance, you have to kind of sacrifice your resistance. Um, Raging Idiot, another $4. Next stream, I will give you $800. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if that's really happening, but Raging Idiot, I really appreciate you are 25ers, okay? I just let me say that because it seems like crazy. Some other people might think like, oh my god, I'm not even going to donate a fiver because what do I change? What difference does this make compared to these guys? But even the small ones, I really appreciate them, guys. Uh, <laughs> the 500 pound was just crazy. And, uh, I mean, thank you guys so much. I don't know what to say, really. And they didn't team up. Look, they did not team up. So it uh, it was only a, a short feeling of being being focused by multiple people. Maybe they were focusing me, but maybe they weren't in a, but they weren't in a squad. And they just happened to focus me, right? Let's do a beacon rush. Um, but then again, I was in the middle of so many enemies, so... Obviously, I get more focus, right? So, something I need to keep in mind. Uh, I'm not even sure how many people are watching right now. I can't even see it. 2,200! What?! This is another thing, you know? You guys are so amazing! Like, every time it gets more, I get the feeling. Like, every livestream, we have more people here and more amazingness with you guys. 
And it's also so that I, I'm afraid that those who are just watching and not sending a donation or anything, they feel like they're not important to me because I'm not speaking uh, of it. But man, I really appreciate it, even if you guys just watch. It's so awesome to have this number rising up further and further and have you guys support me in this Im amazing... With, your, with one of the most important and valuable things you have in your life, your lifetime. There's nothing more valuable than that. And I really appreciate this, guys. In case you're wondering, I want to take damage. This is why I'm letting him shoot me with his, uh, with his uh, ability there. I want to take damage. See, I now actually even used up one of his uh, quantum radar things. And I'm going for the Nightingale there. Because I can do a m lot of damage to it. And then trying to go for this guy here too. And then trying to get away from the Rice player. But he's, he seems to be very fast here. I think he's going to get me. I don't seem... Nah, they're, they're all for, uh, coming for me here. But in the meantime, as they all occupy... Look, I've occupied so many people to walk onto a position they already possess. So it's... In the meantime, my team is kind of really winning this, uh, this battle on beacon control. You know? So that's the crazy thing about this. Jumping on someone might be effective sometimes, but it can also get you, screw you over quite a bit. Uh, I, was even, I wasn't even able to get this phantom there, right? But from here I can snipe extremely well. Last stand activated on this dude. Another leech coming from behind. He's now leeching, so I better stop firing and instead choose the Ravana. It's the same player with a, with another Ravana from before. Uh, his leech ability should be gone now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Learned this in a de deadly premonition game, man. I found this funny. I should I should acquire this as my as my move too. I find this super amazing. By the way. I'm here further away from the enemy, and so they don't focus me as much. This is a really good way to stay safe, kind of, right? And again, I want to take damage from this Auchun, because I need my overdrive unit to activate. Okay. I don't want to take too much damage, but some damage is definitely good. Oh boy. Okay, I, now I took a little bit too much. But we can jump on with uh, Scorpion. Before they capture the beacon. And put an end to this. Oh, there's the third guy. Okay, three more shots and he's gone. I think he used his stealth. And I just defended against three attacking enemies by spawning on the beacon. And this right after I've obliterated the enemy like, a, like crazy by the use of... Uh-oh, he's already in range. Now this is a problem. I have to move forward here and face him directly head on. I've got no other choice because this Lancelot is coming from behind. Let's jump on him from behind and see what we can do. Okay, last stand activated on him. Uh-oh. Okay, I should probably return. Yep. I better return real quick here. So, we have him coming up with a rocket launcher there. Five seconds left on the clock. Oh, I think he just hit me with that, didn't he? Problem is, he bypasses my resistance. Okay. That was stupid, I wanted to drop in next to him up there. I didn't actually mean to drop down here. Whoops. My bad. I can't get over the 500 pound. My lord. Adam, you are just an absolute monster. This is... This is... Uh, I can't believe how much awesome people I have here in these streams. Also, Ryan C. And, uh, and, and Sin Davy and Mirox. All these people have been giving so much to this channel already. It's... I don't know what to say. You guys are awesome. So, I'm just out waiting it. And thankfully, you see the other Ravana knows not to fire at him. I want to get a little bit more damage for the overdrive. Now we can hit him. 
So, and he's not gonna go anywhere, despite his incredible speed that he's running it with. He's probably gonna tell, ju uh, stealth jump now. Or he doesn't because he already had it, A. Or B, he got destroyed in a double hit and couldn't even react that fast. The Lancelot is so big that even the shotguns at 200, 300 meter range almost do full damage to him. Behind the Bulgazari. Boom, boom, boom. There goes the bulk. No, the game crashed. It's the first crash today, but it happened anyways. And in order to make sure it doesn't happen again, I figured out that restarting the emulator does help. Um, for those who don't know, I'm, uh, I'm my recording studio here is built around the whole PC, right? I'm having a capture card, I'm having two PCs. If you want to know how my recording setup looks like, check out my 200k subscriber special. I have a 360 camera there, and you can look around yourself and you see everything. And um, my whole studio is built around a PC setup, so I my the quality content I produce is basically because of the PC setups, and this is how I um, how I do it. Um, all right. Uh, let's... Ch you know what? I still haven't activated. You know what? Let's not use boosters this time, right? Having a free-for-all match? No, let's go back to Team Deathmatch. Ryan C. Ryder, he says. Uh, K. Ra rather, Texas in the house, Manny rocks. Texas. Oh, say Kuso. Yeah, 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 awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> I almost said kudos to you. Uh, that's not Texan, obviously. That is uh, something else, but thank you so much, man. And Killobot with $5. Glad to see the uh, less crashing. Hopefully version 4... A zero to a helped enjoy the videos Killobot, it actually uh, did help I, pl I recorded a lot of video content on my own account today where I use this version right now I'm not using the uh, using the version you have I'm using the one afterwards um, and it also seems to work better right now for some reason um, oh it's a leech we need to wait for him to start leeching now he's leeching okay I'm hoping my team is gonna know not to fire at him anymore Okay, so his leech ability is gonna end in two, one, and boom, boom, boom. Okay, I want to take him down and that's that's pretty much it. Did I not get him? They shielded him! Look, he's like one HP or so. They shielded him so hard. That was insane, man. They shielded him. I'm inside the Ares shield right now. Oh, this is crazy. He sees a falcon, or f uh, uh, what is this? Okay. Mm, hold on, I'm gonna take this because it's Mirox. Hold on. Yep. What's going on? Uh, wait. What, what, what was happening? He didn't mean to do that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, all uh, right, thank you. <laughs> good for the call, I think that was a good good call. All right, see you later. <laughs> um, that was Mirox, our moderator. Turns out I didn't keep reading the Discord. And it uh, turns out there was a, a, a mistake happened here. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if I should say it out loud, but maybe I should because I think the stream chat and Discord is all going nuts about it because I didn't see it, so I should probably say that I did see it. Um, Adam accidentally sent 500 pounds. From what I gather, uh, he was he wanted to do five pounds, uh, and uh, and accidentally mistyped or something, and now it became 500 or so. Uh, and um, obviously, of course, Adam, don't worry about it. I'm going to refund this to you later. There is no way I'm gonna keep the keep this when you didn't mean to send this, right? I mean, this is I, that's not my style, and that's not who I am. Um, I'll be I'll be I'll be refunding this later. Don't worry about it, man. 
Don't worry about it. After the stream, I'm going to I'm going to check it and I'm going to refund it the whole thing to you. And uh, also don't apologize. Things like that happen, right? I mean, this is stuff like this can happen. You can you probably wanted to type in 500 for 5.00 euros or pounds and you accidentally had the the, the comma <laughs> at the wrong spot. That's that stuff can happen, man. So don't worry about it. I'll I'll fix this for you. You'll get it back, all of it. I was I was a little bit surprised because I um I think I haven't seen your uh, or maybe I have seen a few smaller donations before, but never anything that large before. And so seeing this large of a donation pop up from a name that usually that I don't combine in my head with somebody sending massive donations that surprised me a little bit. And uh, now it all makes sense. So, all right. So good call calling me here, Mirox. What happened in Discord, Mirox, and uh, the, uh, the Discord chat for all my moderators? In case you, uh, just so you know, what happened? I accidentally strolled up with my mouse wheel, and therefore, Discord stopped auto, auto scrolling. If you know what I mean, right? It stopped auto scrolling because I um oh. That's bad. Uh, because I went with the mouse cursor a little bit upwards. Wow, he almost gets whooped in one go, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's almost done, dude. That's insane. That's it for him, man. Okay. <clears throat> uh, F in the chat for Adam. <laughs> You guys are just funny, man. I love you all. I love all of you guys. It's so awesome. It's like how much fun we have in these live streams. It's un it's unreal. It's unreal. How much funny stuff also happens, right? This guy oh, this guy had used his uh is using his ability right now. Should probably go for him in a bit. No, I'm not going to teleport away. I'm not going to leave I'm not going to let this slide. Just because he locked me down like this. I'm not going to let this slide, dude. I'm gonna kill myself with this, but I'm gonna bring you down to last stand. Yep. Took you down to last- Oh, it's Nuclear Inferno! That makes sense! That makes sense! I didn't pay attention to the name, and I was like, again, this guy seemed to be ready, ready for my jump. He knew I was jumping on him somehow. I don't know if he did point, you know, pay attention to anything other than me, but now it makes sense. Nuclear Inferno again. That is funny. Okay, so this guy was leeching me. Now I'm doing overdrive damage, which is good. Oh, the Falcon lands in a really bad spot right there. I can hit him. Okay, let's fire at him a little bit. And boom, so fast killed, man. Nuclear Inferno, I th I'm pretty sure you are in the stream chat too. Um, isn't it crazy how fast this setup kills? What do you think, man? That is insane. You had half HP. You came across me for like a second or so, and like, you're done. Like, one second of firing. That was an awesome jump with the Ares here. <laughs> Landing on top of this. We are winning, but it is a rather, a rather close match here. Firing into the back of this um, this Titan. Oh, he's got the rocket launcher. I must be careful because he can basically splash hit me. See that? He could splash hit me here if I'm not careful. So I better jump down. I'm not risking taking these hits for no reason. Because I can't really hit him back. I can't really do any damage to him. Okay, we're taking some damage again. Man, those Arthurs are crazy. The problem is if I use my shield here, they can always just move, take one step and be in safety afterwards. That's the problem. Ow, he hit me in the air. Okay, I'm trying to shield myself behind the uh, the Arthur here, which is awesome. Because obviously, nu uh, Nuclear Inferno wanted to come for me here. 
Very evidently, he tried to use the moment when I had my shield down to come for me. Because we have learned so far that one thing he does, he observes every single move I do in these matches. He observes every move. He catches it when I activate the Scorpion ability. He catches when I when I activate the shield ability, the shield on the Ares. He catches all of that because he wants to counter me right after my ability use. So I have no chance against that. And um, knowing that, I was able to kind of jump behind and uh, save myself behind the Arthur. So nuclear this time, not waste your Titan. Okay, keep it up, keep your Titan, make the best of it. Maximize the, the use of that Titan to the to the fullest of your abilities. And then let's see who wins in this team, because it, it seems rather rather well well uh, balanced right now. I cannot attack this uh, this Arthur, which drives me nuts. And you see this Arthur also is firing at nothing but me the whole time with his rockets. But it's just a matter of time before we get those shields of these Arthurs down. Okay, activating the additional weapon. See, shield is down and Arthur is going. Yep. Okay, Nuclear Inferno is up. But, ah, he, he landed again. Yep, those things are doing a ton of damage to him. Even the Ravana in a long distance is getting so much damage. And also this guy with his rocket launcher. Do you see this guy? Am I crazy or is he really not firing on anything else? Now he finally turns around. Jeez. Okay. Let's see what we can do here with this Ares. I am playing careful. I'm not trying to waste this Ares. This our Chun really wants me somehow. Boom! Wow! I just... Both of them gone. So, Roe calls... Oh no, that's I've already read this. Uh, K Rather, I've read this. Uh, Finnet, Finnet with a $1. Thank you, too. Um, nice battle here. Team Deathmatch is becoming really interesting for me because the matches don't end soon, right? The matches go till the end and... There, somehow it has changed. Pre, a, a little while ago, Team Deathmatch was filled with Hydras and Vortex and, uh, you know, all kinds of weapons and Zenith's and Norikom's weapons that don't need line of sight. And they are really weak, basically, but uh, annoy the heck out of a few. Now, <laughs> I say it as he fires some uh, spirals, um, but now this is what happened. Whoop! Ah, I just saw the Vortex come in. Okay, I'm, I would be suppressed now, but I'm not because it's a Ravana. And the Ravana does not get suppressed. Let's take a little bit of damage so we get past this this uh, this damage and then take the, 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 the Blitz. The Blitz is the one who has the uh, the highest power. What? How did you not get hit by that? Okay, look how I'm in the middle of five people and I'm just really taking them down. Nice, nice job there with his uh, vortex. He did a really good time shot. I was literally in between of all all enemies, all six of them, and my team is uh, still back there. What? My team is still here in second line. They're not. I would have now imagined my team to use this time to take position on, on behind the cover in the center spot. But somehow they didn't do that. They somehow didn't move on. Despite all the time I've just bought them. Ah, it's a it's a nightingale with vortex and aphid. That's interesting. Okay, I gotta be ready for it. Oh, I'm suppressed still. Don't fall! No! Oh my god, I'm falling down here. This is really bad. Oh, I need to get behind this cover really quickly. Forget it, man. I'm done. I'm done, am I? Oh, I'm still alive somehow. That was not my intention. I did not mean to to fall. I'm corner corner shoot killing him and him. Now him. Oh. 
He just fired, so he's gonna have no firepower left. Finishing him. I don't know how I'm still alive after I made such a massive mistake right here. Such a crazy mistake that I just did, and I'm somehow still alive. Oh my goodness, somebody was shield breaking me. That is so lame, dude. Uh, okay. I thought I have outplayed these guys and I can finally get back into another ability. Let's go for the AFIT um, Vortex uh, um, Nightingale. Nope, he face shifts and then he gets another flight. And I'll just teleport back. Oh my goodness, again, I made a stu stupid move after coming out of the stealth. Okay. Some damage I need to take. Where's the Ares? Here he is. Let's take take down that Ares because he's trying to hide. I'm suppressed again. My goodness, this this one this one nightingale, right? This one nightingale is making this life on hell on earth for me right now. This one nightingale. I'm not sure if this is the nightingale. Yeah, this is the nightingale up there. Okay, took him down this time. And this guy too, he makes it hell on earth for me, man. He even, he, he moves so far away from this position so that he can eventually shoot into my side when I'm behind this cover. I have to really play a bit more careful now because they're really, really having a good angle, right? They're having a good angle on us, around us. Another Nightingale. Let's try and one-tap him. Yep. That worked. And I'm gonna walk past them here to the side. Okay. That is not a bad spot to be in right now. Um, it's 8-8, eight, eight, so it's quite an, an even match at this point. go for the Ares. Or no, wait, that's not an Ares. My goodness, am I getting focused. They turn around instantly. Did you see that? This Aochun. I mean, he turned around the second I teleported. He didn't give it one second of thought. He didn't think for one second. He instantly turned around. I'm gonna take you down, man. Don't you worry about that. You're gonna be done now. Okay, teleporting back. There is this guy who's currently... Oh, okay, I'm dead now. He respawned behind me. And I've got no chance because I'm not in cover. I didn't know they could spawn here. I thought they spawn here, here, and here. The fact that he spawns behind me and gets a complete free kill really surprised me. Alright, let's try and change this with our Titan here. Okay, I'm going to have a really good spot now so soon where I think I can be very safe around this corner here. No, I cannot? They can hit me, I think. I think, yep, they can hit me. This is a horrible spot to be in. Wow, this is the worst spot I've ever seen. I have to go down here. This is death. This, I'm killing myself right now. Right now, I'm completely killing myself in this position. And look how they all go for me, how they gladly take this present of free damage. Because I so m messed up. I thought this cover was gonna help me. Oh my goodness, did that get me bad. That got me so bad right there. He stays out of 600 range the whole time. And I can't- you know, come on, team, help me out a little bit here! I mean, if I move here, I get attacked from the right side. If I move to the left, I get attacked from the left side. There is no- Come on, guys, you need to help me out a little bit here. You need to 
has put a little bit of strain off me right now. It can't be that I'm in this in this t completely alone versus all six enemies. I mean, that can't be, dudes. That can't be. You've got to take some of the force away from me. I have one Titan to my left. Oh, this Hades. Oh my god, I'm gonna bring you down, man. This Hades has used his shield six times or th four times against me now. That is too much. Okay, I killed him with a disposal. I need healing. I need healing so badly. Oh no, now this! Oh. oh my god, I need resistance, I need healing, I need whatever the heck I can get here to survive this onslaught. They're- they're- what? Look at this! I mean, come on! Dude, this is one versus six right now. You guys need to help me out a little. Just a tiny bit. All of them are at long range. There's not a single player in short range with me. I'm the only one with long at long range. A a at short range. I'm trying to hold them back all by myself right now. This is impossible to do. You can't hold back four Ao Mings that are perfectly circle or circling around you. Basically having a perfect spot on you. No matter where you hide, they have an angle on you. And you can't possibly hold this off all by yourself. You can't be the best player in the world. That is not gonna happen. I need help. I need support. Ugh, this is... Okay, now I think I am currently being a little bit left alone, finally. This is insane. Look at this guy. Wait, is that a? F yep, it is a. It is a store. Uh, uh, a scorpion right now, and he even has a stealth. And now this guy comes in. Can he still teleport away? No, he can't. This is insane right now. Look, they're all coming for me. What is this? Because they are not here. Because my team is not there. They can literally walk at me, even though I'm trying to hide behind the tiniest corners. They can just come at me, look. Slowly but surely I'm getting do uh, downed here. Because they come at me from all sides. And there is not a single bit of help for me here. I'm trying to bring down the most important and strongest target in the game. The enemy Ao Ming. I hope we won this. Yeah, we did. I didn't pay attention to it. But man, this was insane. That was a really, really bad team I had on my side. That was me versus everyone right there. I, You need to make a line. And you know what? I should have seen that coming. The, the first robot. You remember what I did in the first few seconds of the gameplay? I ran, went between six enemies. And I occupied them for one minute or one and a half. And then I looked at the map. My team was still at their starting position. That moment I should have already realized what kind of team I have. A team that does not move ahead when there is room for it. A team that does not give you room uh, when you're trying to occupy a couple of people. That was, a, that was the worst team deathmatch I had in an extremely long time. I hope I never get into this team again. Never ever. That was the worst thing ever. You can't let one guy be circled around with a, like, they, that wasn't even half a circle. That was almost a full circle they had around me. And, and my team was still behind everybody. That was, it's, that's, that's not, that's not cool. That's not okay. There must be some kind of team play in team deathmatch. Phew, okay. But uh, enough of this. Let's try and make, oh, my team is over there right now. I'm, let's, let's not run all the way into it all by myself. Okay, we have an Ao Chun flying up. Why are you firing? I see this so often, I see Ao Chuns firing at me when they can't even hit me. Here, I'm corner shooting him right now, doing free damage. He somehow doesn't realize that. Now I'm wasting two of his storm shots. Now he's down to last stand, and now I'm actually doing the real damage. I'm gonna be coming- nope, he wants- he wants to come out of this. Uh, he wants to- and he did, he did. He, he came out of it last. 
This is what you want to do with the Ravana versus Ravana. You want to be the guy coming out of the invincibility. That's what's gonna what's happening. You want to be be that guy. He's bringing up another Ravana now. Let's see if I can beat him again. But the thing is, we have not only him, but also this guy. And I want to kind of get him too, because he is the problem that that he gets the next stealth ability soon. And again, somehow I find myself in the middle of so many enemies. Okay. I killed him twice now. He's leeching. This guy just dropped. Oh, wow. That was some damage he just took. Man, that was not healthy. Okay. Yep, this was literally all of them circle firing me from all directions. So when I drop out of the stealth, I get insta downed. Uh, but I think I've taken down quite enough, uh, quite a lot of things. Let's spawn with the, the Ares. Okay. Uh, what is going on here? This guy is just sitting there now, apparently. How many times did I just have to re re uh, press the change target button for this target to finally come out? There's a little gap. I'm shooting there to tell the other guy to look back. So he's last standing, then he's face shifting. Yep, we can't get him. He's perfectly safe behind that short, that small little column there. Someone is being leeched. And it's not me this time, that's good. I'm glad that's not me this time. Yep, I cleaned up from behind here. They were busy, they, the other guy was busy looking at some other direction. I'm cur I need a little bit more damage so I can do more overdrive damage. You there, man. You there, Taran man. Please, would you hit me? A little bit more, I need some more damage. You there, that's good, yep. That is the perfect amount of damage, thank you so much, sir. Now he's trying to walk inside my shield. Obviously not going to happen. Oh, he's leeching. He's leeching too. I don't think he's going to be leeching for that for much longer here, this guy. He's going to be done leeching soon. Yeah, leech ability is gone, as you see. Oh my god, I can't move past this guy. Oh, he's going to take this guy out. Pretty sure, yep. From behind. Oh, really? Another laser fire from a far away. A nice flyby. And... Oh, I was suppressed! Oh, I was suppressed somehow, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's Muharib, that's why. I was like, wait a minute, this guy really wants me, why? It's the guy who I till killed like three times in the beginning. Uh, probably didn't like that so much. Yep, Li look, I'm still taking the hits from him. As soon as it becomes possible to place a hit on me, his shots ring in. I don't need to use my shield here because we already have a shield. The other Ares. Uh oh. There's an enemy titan here. I still have my shield. You can rely on that to protect you. Yeah. Okay, it worked. I jumped into the corner sideways, dude. 
Corner shooting. Oh, they're gonna get me now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who was it? It was Muhabib who must come around the entire map to finally get his hands on me. Wow, it's so insane. Really, people keep constantly tell me, Manny, you need to change your name. This is not normal what you're experiencing. I see, I do see comments like this a lot that this is not normal. The, the amount of focus I'm taking from people, that's not normal. I shouldn't be taking that much damn that much focus from from people like having nothing better to do but to get go straight for me the whole time um but i don't want to change my name i kind of like it and you know what it's an increased difficulty it's him and you're gonna die now so have fun and you're not even going to hit me much because yep oh, i made it just in time nice that was close. So, Muhabi, let me just kill you real quick. We need to work there on the shield first. However, if I'm flying above him now in a second, I should be able to take him down rather well without going through the shield. Here, from up here, I can ignore his shield. See that? I'm going right through his shield right here from up there. And his shoot is also going down. Muhabib, this would not have happened to you if you had just played the game in a normal way without giving you me way too much focus. The same thing happens to all the people who do this. Just play normal man. Just give me the same chance as everybody else. Okay, here we have another Titan. I'm unloading a lot of damage from the side. I'm not even doing increased damage, I just realized. I didn't have the increased damage rolling. Is he leeching right now? Really? Yeah, he must be leeching at this moment. Now he's hiding. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I'm being... Ooh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of enemies right here. Let's see if we can outweigh his ability for a bit. Oh, uh, no, there's even another Kai! Even another Aochun coming on me! I'm already without my ability in a 3-on-1 or whatever, and there's another dude coming in. Ah, this is crazy. Alright. It was just bound to happen, I guess. I was behind enemy spawn, so what do I expect? I'm an idiot if I think I can just walk through that and not be attacked by all of them. Of course, they will all attack me as soon as it becomes possible, because they're just so, um next to me when they sp spawn all right moving into the cover here godlike sunglasses people right oh did i have a godlike i didn't even i didn't realize boom 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 this guy feels pretty safe there let's show him that he's not He's probably like, wait, what? How? And then he realizes, uh, Scorpion. Ugh, of course. So he's lost his ability. Yep. Cleaning up from behind. I think this is a clan, isn't it? These two guys with this large T in the beginning? I wouldn't be surprised to see if that was a clan or something. Or if they are, like, uh, squatting together. I'm still not doing increased damage. I need to take more damage for that. I'm waiting for his resistance to drop and for... Okay, never mind. He turned around for a second. Phew. All right, so high maps uh, with AD Gaming is here. War Robots for Life. That's right, man. We have even a couple of YouTubers tuning in from time to time, which is awesome. Yeah, see, they did... They was a clan. I, I knew it because I saw this T, this large T twice, and I was like, hmm... Okay, but the other guy did play his Titan for the entire match, and this is how he was able to do that much damage. He, because he played the Titan for the whole match, right? And that's when you get 4 million damage quite easily. Mm. Yeah. Um, let's get into the next match. Only one crash so far. This is really cool. Ugh, really. I don't like this map. I don't like it at all. 
Let's go with a long range Ares. And see what we can do here from, from far away without hopefully letting these guys get too close to us. What is it? Is it an Aochun? No, it's. I think it was a Komiho, wasn't it? No, what is that? It's a Falcon. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have, we have trebuchets aiming down on us. You see the trebuchets there in the distance, guys? But he just fired at something. Not me, thankfully. I'm trying to support this uh, this guy right there. This is what, what I'm always missing, the support. Uh-oh, Trebuchet is loaded again. Uh, I can't move very far away from here because otherwise... Oh, the Trebuchet just fired. Unfortunately, hit fired at a guy. Whoa, he's firing at me. I'm trying to support the Ravana over there as best as I can, but the enemies are kind of hiding there behind the corner. But at least... Oh, it's Nuclear Inferno. He literally has an enemy behind him, and he says to himself, Ah, uh -uh. I rather want to be called out in the video again. <laughs> So, um, he's gonna destroy me. I've got no chance against this Blitz robot. If he plays this smart, there is no chance I have. I'm never gonna beat him there. Never. And I, he's not the only enemy here either. See, I can't beat this person. There's no way. He's just gonna come for me and just destroy me. Nuclear Inferno, can we just let this slide? Do we really have to do this every time? Can't you just go and play the game normal? Come on, I know you're watching the stream. I know you do. How about you just play the game normally, man? Just let us fun. I oh, I even I even praised you in the beginning of this video, and you're just making this incredibly personal every time. I don't understand why, man. Just play the game. Of course I have no chance. It's an Ares versus a double, double ability death survivor. Blitz, I don't have a chance. A kindergarten, would, a kid would be able to beat me with this, a little child, because it's a win by default. And I thought we were cool with each other. I thought we were cool. I thought I praised you. I told people how much an amazing skill you had and with your knowledge about the game. Turns out you're a you're really really an, a douche against me. I don't know why you're doing this, man. Seriously, I don't know why. What have I done to you? All right, let's do this then. For the rest of forever, I'm going to remember your name. We're no longer cool with each other. Don't worry. We're going to have this done. If you want it, if you need this, I don't know why you would need this, but let's do this then. Whatever. I'm obviously being nice to people, saying that they did a good job and stuff doesn't prevent them from being douchebags to you. I don't know. I mean, was it necessary to jump the entire map just to get my leech out and my Ares? I like playing that Ares. You just took the fun out of it for me. You just took the fun away. And it wasn't necessary to do this unnecessary stuff. Just play the game normally, man. Just play it normally. There's another leech robot, uh, blitz robot coming in, but he used his ability. And you know you're gonna lose this match again. You're gonna lose every match. If the only thing you care about is focusing me down, then you're gonna lose every single match in this in this game, because that's not what the what the game is about. This guy's gonna get his ability back soon. Uh, he did it. He just used it. Okay. Every time there's a Pulsar shot on me, you know it's it's uh, it's him. Really? I. Th wow, that timing was awesome. So your ability is gone, that means you've got a little problem now. So, was it worth it? I don't think so. 
And meanwhile, I'm not just destroying you, I'm destroying your entire team at the same time. So, it's not even, like, you could have gone out of this whole live stream with an amazing performance and, uh, you chose to kind of be, uh, oh well. I'm being attacked by three people and I still take you down, man. Bye. For the third time, by the way. Just don't be a douche. Just play the game. Obviously, you don't want to be cool with me. Then you can have it. Oh, God. <clears throat> I, I really wish I could have played that Ares a little longer. It hurts me really much that he did that to me because I really had fun playing that Ares. And he just decided to take this away. He just decided, well, sorry. Don't care. Just because it makes it so personal for some reason. Oh well. People want me to play the Nodens. Okay, I'll be playing the Nodens. Oh, he teleported. And now you see Nuclear Inferno staying back in his base because he's on his last robot now. <laughs> Any more mistakes and he's gone. So, yeah. Or a second last robot after the Titan, I guess. Let's help out here against this Titan. I wanted to hit that, uh, that Ao Chun. Uh, I got him. Nice. That was close. Uh, is that Predator? No, it's not. No, it's not the Predator, right? It's just a Predator. I'm not sure. What the attack is now, everything from him. So... We have three or four enemies. All I need to do is just basically play for time right now. People want me to play the, uh, the Nodens. That means I must die. I kind of have to die now. Okay. Yep, I'm taking quite some damage right now. Ah, that's why. Okay. I thought, wait, who's the who's the plasma thing that I'm having, that I'm hitting? Okay, you guys want the Nodens, but I'm not, I don't wanna, uh, oh, by the way, look, Nuclear Inferno is now coming because he saw that I used my, res my ability, and he has saved up all his abilities. He has been standing in his back, regenerating all his abilities all this time for this moment. You know what? Screw that. He's been standing in his base, waiting for this moment to happen. The moment when I use my abilities and have no more protection. He's been regenerating all his runs, <laughs> so that he can then come in, have a free kill, and uh, and feel feel good. Well, how, how good do you feel now? Is that good, huh? Is that... you having fun? Well, you know what? It has one good thing. He just... He just gave us uh, the Nodens. And then I crash. Damn it. Let's have another match. It's 20. It, it's uh, normally the live stream stream is over. What a loser Rider Gaming is, says. Hey, man, really. I mean, it's a guy who actually has a lot of skill. We've seen it in the first match. He's a skilled player. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't need to be uh, such a douche, but. Man. Apparently, he needs that. He needs that. <laughs> he sits behind the wall, regenerates all of his runs, waits for me to run, use my thing, and then he comes around the corner. Oh, man. All right, let's do one more match, and I'm playing the Nodens earlier for you this time, okay? Let's try and do it. Bro, you're literally the devil. It destroyed him. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, I just don't like stream snipers, but who does? Who likes stream snipers? Let's be honest, right? Um, we have stream snipers in other games, PUBG, in Fortnite, everywhere are stream snipers, and never people really like them. But at the same time, sometimes they're friendly. I remember Shroud and uh, and the the other guy who was with him the whole time. What was it? Um, this this other guy who always followed him around and just talked to him always. <laughs> he didn't even attack him. He just followed him everywhere, and that was funny. Like there are nice stream snipers too, so it's not always evil and bad. Uh, but um, most of the time, it's really annoying. And there are games. There are many games where stream snipers are actually getting banned. I think 
wasn't it Fortnite or was it Apex or PUBG where they banned f stream snipers? They literally followed, the developers literally followed the live streams and noticed when people were very obviously stream sniping and they banned the stream snipers. Now, I wouldn't want to do this because to me, a stream sniper isn't necessarily that bad, right? It can be annoying, but it can also be kind of uh, fun. Uh, but, um... Uh-oh. Uh, but, uh, but if it's in, in this case of Inferno here, I think this is a very bad example of stream sniping where it, where it gets very annoying. And you don't have to be like this. You can do it like L uh, AD Gaming. AD Gaming has started his channel stream sniping me, but in a good way. We were playing together and we were cool with each other. We always fought in the same battle. Um, and he really made it a habit to play normal and just, you know, fight me when he needs to, when it's required, right? But not focus me out of the match, even though he stream sniped me and, and matched into the same matches with me. He made it a habit to really be fair about it and just fight normal. And that was really cool with him, right? Living legend so quickly, man. Pfft. What a beast. I already have the Titan ready here. Jesus. Dude, the Aochun is still so ridiculous, man. It is such a ridiculous monster. I don't know where the guy teleported to. Is this the guy? Who is the who is the the uh, the scorpion? Is this him? I think this might be him here. Yeah, this is him. This is the scorpion. I'm finally getting that scorpion guy. Oh no, I made a mistake and I didn't actually fire my weapon. Okay, let's see if we can take him down. No, we have four four people here but it's good let's jump into the uh, into the f um, into the thing here try and help out by suppressing enemies giving healing to our friends I can't target him it's targeting the wrong guy targeting the wrong guy there it is nice okay giving more healing Okay, I'm ready with a suppression for the enemy Ares. There he is. He's now getting suppressed by me. I'm in the enemy base right now. Again, not very smart. Uh, but I'm doing it anyways. I'm suppressed. I have to wait for the suppression to end. And then I can have some fun. Still trying to support here. I Did I suppress him? No, I don't think I got him. Let's reload our weapons. That Nodens is a beast, man. I need to reload the weapons, but unfortunately this guy comes around the corner now and attacks me pretty hard. Let's go for him. When his resistance doesn't matter, it's so insane how fast this thing is. Okay, let's go for... For the Titan. Oh, I have my resistance not up. I don't have resistance right now, and I don't have any uh, any healing, uh, any suppression for him. Normally, I would have suppressed him now, but I couldn't anymore because I had used the suppression against um, against the Ravana earlier. That killed me. That killed me that I did didn't have my suppression ready. Let's jump up here. Go for him. Come on, do a little bit of damage to me, please. I need the overdrive. That's right. Thank you, sir. And now, if you would please die, that would be wonderful. Jumping over him or underneath him so he loses his lock. Or against him, in this case, even. See, I told you, this is the ant that this is the Titan Breaker. This is the Ao Ming Breaker right here. It breaks an Ao Ming like nothing else, dude. It's so insane. Firing with everything we've got here. Add the next Ao Ming. Using that shield till the end and boom, another two Ao Ming's gone. 
I'm gonna be in trouble here. I need some support. Hopefully I get that. I'm locked down. But I can move again. Nice. Oh, Nightingale, please heal me. I could use that healing. Nightingale, help me. Yes, yes, yes. yoo -hoo! In the healing circle. Yay. Thank you, man. This would be a nice kind of stream sniping. Imagine you have somebody with you that follows you around and heals you. <laughs> but that was would be kind of unfair, man. Okay, they only have two things left in this game, apparently. Right now, only two robots. No, there's another one who spawned in. He's using his suppress- his- his resistance there. That's a problem now. The, uh, the other enemy, uh, the enemy stays behind the other Arthur. So I can't, right now, help him so much. But now we broke through the shield together. Nice job. Titan Slayer. I wonder if this guy still has a robot. It could be. Okay. Helping out this Titan. Every time this guy shoots a storm shot, he gets hit by me. Every time he wants to do damage, he gets damaged himself. There could be two more robots, possibly. Two more robots could be here. But do you see the power of this Ares, ladies and gentlemen? Against against Auchuns, this thing is just insane. Uh, the guy I took down in the first Aocho, Ao Ming, against Ao Mings, I mean, he had a really powerful Ao Ming. That thing was well leveled, and I took down 60-70% of that thing. Let's see if we can... Ah, uh, he's on iOS. I can't show you this. But I think the Titan was at least level 100. Maybe 80, 80 to 120. Some, somewhere in between, I would guess. Dominique M with a super chat message. With that haircut, please use my donation to get a new head. <laughs> Dominique, I must tell you, dude. That haircut, I did it to myself. I'm right now sweating, really. You see my, my, uh, my forehead is like super red. Because it's 32 degrees Celsius in here in this little studio. Um, but the, um, this is, uh, I, I did this haircut myself. Uh, not the whole thought, just the, the forward part. I think it's okay. Don't you agree? I think it's okay. You can even see my Harry Potter scar that I have here. There somewhere, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, we have Rowie Kazilla. Uh, when you stream snipe, it's a sign you're a big streamer. But goddamn, please, what uh, when that happens again, destroy, destroy and no mercy. It feels good. Don't be sad about them. <laughs> Rowie Kazilla. Yeah, I guess we shown him. We shown him that it's a bad idea to do this. If you know the the, the funny thing is, if he had just been nice, then he would have come out of this live stream with everybody having a good good, good impression about him because I said it's a he, he did a good job at first. But then he really kind of screwed it up. He didn't have to. Uh, Dominic, thanks for your contribution too, man. And we have Vader, Vader's father. Who's Vader's father, by the way? That's interesting, huh? Vader's father. Uh, good day. Can you do a phantom? All heavy armor, quant, quarter, a quarker, and atomizer, please. Um... The live stream is at the end right now, but I could maybe run something like this soon. I'm not enjoying the the Phantom too much though. Let's uh, because actually it's okay. It's a good robot. It's really a good robot still, but um, it's one of those that just runs in with massive resistance, and I kind of prefer the ones that are a bit tricky, you know. Whoa! Wait a minute. There's another donation now that we are at the end. Are you kidding me? Hold on. It's AD Gaming has just donated five dollars. Don't mind the evil snipers. Keep up the good mood, uh, but, but butter. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much, man. AD Gaming, you're awesome too, man. I know how it all began with you, and uh, it's good that you're around still, man. Thank you. And we have NB Art. Oh man, I remember you. It's been a while, but I remember your name. I always make a point of focusing down the strongest opponent. It's a valid strategy. I'm sure it's not personal. It's just the best chance to win. Well, it depends. This guy's definitely not just focusing down one guy who thinks he's, he's powerful, but 
he just clearly wants to be in the stream and he shakes his head when I, when he's running away and she, you know he's he's he knows he's on the stream when he does that so it's it's more like more than that uh, but of course generally it's not a bad idea to focus down strong people but if those strong people take you down four times like one of my of this robot takes you down three or four times and at the same time kills many other of your team then obviously things are not working right right you need to reform you, you need to stick to your team and try and team play this is what team deathmatch is about you try and to team do team play stick together i'm kind of evading that a little bit because i like to show the full action and just jump in and then i'm complaining that i get focused by everything like an idiot uh, but uh yeah i know i'm not you know i'm not perfect i'm making my mistakes but I just want to give you an action time, really. I just don't want to sit back and just do team, you know, sitting all the way back there and firing from a distance. I want to I want to just give you pure action brawl gameplay, if possible. Alright, so, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all for uh, for joining this live stream. I really appreciate you being here. It was a fun time with you. Um, oh, yeah, I have to refund those 500 uh, pounds. I'll do that, Adam. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll go to uh, the thing. Uh... I hope you send it via pay PayPal, because if you did send it to PayPal, then I should just be able to press one button and then it should be back to you. I hope it I hope it works like that. Alright. Um, another Matt Matt, five Canadian dollars. Nice stream. Thank you, sir. I, I, I appreciate that you guys are still still finding it nice. I did complain a bit, and I uh, uh, but I feel like I also have a bit of, bit of a reason to complain. I, I don't like stream snipers when they're that, that annoying. You know, next time... If you are considering being a stream sniper, why don't you be the good, good, the good kind of stream sniper, like AD Gaming, for example? That we see each other all the time and we battle in the same battles, but we also, you know, not try and focus each other out and ruin each other's matches, but instead we're just trying to do the best we can for our team, right? And maybe even sometimes playing together in the same team, that would be also cool. This is the cool, this is the cool kind of stream sniping where you're just playing together, right? Why not do this instead? Say bye-bye. Yes, we did enjoy. Roey Kazilla, thank you, man. All right, so have a good one, everybody. Uh, I'll take care of the refund. Uh, of the re, uh, re, 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 is it refund? What's the word? Yeah, I think refund. Uh, and uh, we see each other in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye, everyone.